Welcome everyone back to Indie3's Game Showcase. My name is Angelo DeGrandis and I go by The Core on Twitter. Um, unfortunately, Stolen had a run, so it will just be me running solo for a bit. Um, we've got about 10-ish games queued up for this 30-minute time slot. Um, due to uh, us blowing through content so quickly, you know, we might just be for 30 minutes, we might be on for 90 minutes, so we'll see at the end of um, this trailer showcase. So we're going to jump straight into it, um, if we can switch over to the browser. First game I have for you guys is called Power Grid. Um, it's a turn-based strategy game. It's currently in alpha. It's up for playing. You guys can find it at www.powergrid.com. I have a trailer for you folks. So that was Power Grid, brought to us by the Wii Free Studio team. Um, so first off, you know, you get... I actually originally thought it was a tower defense game. You know, kind of like a like the gem TDs you saw back in the Warcraft 3 Ages with the tile system. But um, it actually seems that it is a turn-based strategy. Um, you know, and that kind of it, that kind of gives me the impression that it almost works a little bit like, like Go, if you guys have ever played Go. Where you guys, uh, where you like place the, uh, the stones in like like a progressive order to like march across the board, and then like you kind of gain power by like um like routing the stones together, and it seems like at least according to the the screenshots that there is a bit of a RPG element. You know, it does advertise that there is a campaign single player mode. Let's just take a couple look at a couple more of these. It is on Greenlight if you guys want to support it there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you do build um, different little power modules that I, I probably have different powers. You know, maybe you've got one that uh, releases an AoE stun attack. We were seeing, you know, the blast wave in the trailer. And some of these likely, uh, you know, power up other modules. Or maybe you can inverse the current of the power grid. Um, I just, I'm curious how you go about destroying other players um there's a lot of really cool board games that take uh the idea of space as a resource for um like if you guys ever played like blockus like you have to interweave with the other players and make everything fit but at the same time you want to block them off and like destroy their uh possible moves and it looks like that this might be taking some of that uh gameplay spirit into application either way it is on steam greenlight and the op the alpha is up right now. If you guys want to uh, try it out before maybe supporting on stream Greenlight, it also looks like they're available on Tumblr, Facebook. Um, so, like I said, the alpha is up. So, if you want to play Power Grid by We Three Studios, and we're gonna move on to our next game, Shipu La Sempu. Oh, by Strong Strong Nine Studios and Laria Games. A fan-made game adaption product based on the anime Kill a Kill by Trigger. I wonder if they have a trailer for us. Dun, 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 dun. Available on Windows and Mac. Trailer, 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 trailer. I got a lot of screenshots. Don't lose your way. Da, 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 da. Mm, let's see. 
they definitely it looks like they had it set up at a couple booths um during a recent anime con and I'm, I'm oh man I'm sorry guys I'm really looking for a trailer for you but not seeing one I got some pixel art I got a lex a let's play here we go maybe I'll skip through this seven minutes long greetings this is Genshin Kun and this is Shibu La Sen there we go Greetings, this is Genshin Kun, and this is Shippu La Senpu. It is a Kill a Kill fan made uh, game. It's a uh, RPG make made on RPG Maker, and it's a very well made RPG Maker game. It's free, and I'll be supplying a link in the description down below so you guys can download it if you're interested. So l less talking and more on with the gaming, right? So I'm gonna pick. Uh, I can only unlock use one character right now. Uh, Satsuki will be um, unlocked after you defeat uh, Raigu, 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 their mom. Um, I just uh, recently, while testing, recording this, I just beat Nue for the first time, and I died soon after that. But yeah, this takes place towards uh, the end of the series, so spoiler alert! I got a lot of content to go but through, yeah, guys, here, like so I'm going to skip uh, through some of this video so we can see some gameplay footage it. examples. Looks like we're taking on the the classic, you know, the, the Raiden X pseudo style of uh, move and shoot. Oh, but you don't die in one hit. Nudispeed ship. I forgot the name of the ship's. The ship. I forgot the name of the ship's name. Excuse me. I forgot the name of the ship. Fighting the suits. Wow, um, it does look like a lot of effort was yeah, put into yeah, a lot of the character select art, the and the UI work. Um, there's tons of a little great all this like uh, 2D representation of the original art style we saw from uh, the original show. I, it, I guess it's kind of based on it whether how big of a fan you are of Kill a Kill. Because um, it looks like there are tons of little finicky callouts to the story itself. Ooh, I like, th I like yeah, that right there. Get the Mako insert. Yeah, Mini boss showing up. Yeah, that was the dynamite. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. It's a really nice boost. Oh, and you do get the split laser upgrade. And, you know, then it comes into question: when are the missiles? When are the wingmen? When's the homing laser? The bouncing laser? Um, and does Satsuki have different power-ups? What they call the, uh, are they sleeves? I think they're called sleeves. I forgot the name. Ah. Oh, and there's a boss. Ryuko! I like the cut-in art. That's pretty oh good. Oh my god, no! Oh, uh, what? Oh man! Now, you seem pretty resilient for, a uh, a move-and-shoot, but, uh... Let's see, RPG Maker, Kill a Kill fan game. So, that is by Genshi Ken. And they have a website up on RPGMaker.net. You can find them by Shippula Senpu. And the game is available for download currently if you wanted to try it out. So, thank you guys. Um, Evil, Eagles, Evil Eagles has it posted. But Genshi Ken Kun uh, with Shippula Senpu. And we're on to Afternoon Hero. Android and iOS. Cool. So it looks like, let me see the find the dev real quick. Afternoon Hero by um, Pompey Pompey Entertainment. And they've got a, a trailer for us.
Oh man, Mario X Johnny Bravo. He definitely had a the entire hair thing going on. I'm curious if he only has a hitbox while he's jumping, because he does seem to also have it on the way up when he has his little jumpy kick thing. Um, but it does look like it is currently available on Android, iOS, and you know a couple other platforms. Oh yeah, Ouya and Fire TV. You guys are one of the few who have a Ouya system. Um, oh, the, it looks like the boss fight to have a beat 'em up style. I, oh, I would, I would like to see that in another trailer if they had one. Um, but yeah, left, 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 right, and jump. Uh, Mario style platformer. Uh, definitely very cool. I like the like pseudo like '60s kind of tone to the the pixel art style. It's got the um, like I said, yeah, the other like the Johnny Bravo, uh, the solid gold pompadour. You're fighting the the rough striped shirted, do no good doers. So Afternoon Hero by Pompy Pompy Entertainment. Um, it's currently up. So if you guys want to check it out, it's on the store right now. Thank you, folks. And moving on, it's the Indie Joe. Oh, Real Folk Blues by Mr. Tedders. Ah, we will, oh, we will I like run. this already. Just we'll from the run. name. And we will refresh. And we will always run on this site. What is this? An old pixel art style. Oh, game is currently available for download. Status complete. They are no longer working on it. Oh, am I, are they loading it now? Are they wanting me to play it? Is that what this is? Where, where's the trailer? I mean, I guess I guess I could play it for like a couple of minutes. Uh, let's go take a look at a couple of these screenshots. Definitely a very um oh, almost seems like a little grim on the side of the uh sparse pixel art that looks like a dead live. This must be you with your extremely prominent nose. Oh is this the game? Oh the game is up. the oldie banjo they picked for the music. Um, I don't think I'm going to jump into a live Let's Play for you guys, but we're going to check out a couple of the other facts about the game. Music by Mark Sparring. He's got the soundtrack on SoundCloud, the Real Folk Blues, in case you guys wanted to check out uh, the music for the game. And a couple of Let's Players have done run-throughs, but I'm not seeing a trailer at the moment. So maybe we can put out some information about Mr. Tedders. He, uh, it looks like he's also done Weapon 1482, Rabbit, Rain, Enter the Blind Hunter. Oh, he's got quite a few games under his belt. Um, so I'm you know, sure has experience in the indie field. Um, so Real Folk Blues. All I can really tell is that it's... A blues, a bluesy RPG. If I had to take a guess, um, which is a cool concept. Uh, oh, dance music by Flamingo. Best played with dim lights. Oh man, I, I want to check it out, but we just have so much to go through. Well, if you guys are interested, it looks like there's people doing let's plays of it right now. If you guys want to open it up in another tab, and it is available on all three PC platforms. Very cool, very cool, and it doesn't it I mean it doesn't cost anything? So it doesn't cost you guys anything to try it out. So if you want, you can find it on Game Jolt. Um, Real Folk Blues by Mr. Tedders. And as we move on to Rain Blocks, let's match away this rainy day. Got this trailer for you.
Xbox for mobile systems. It looks like it's currently available for iOS. Sorry, Android users. Um, so I'm personally a huge fan of the old little metal um, like number sequence puzzles where you'd match around like the mixed up numbers like on the wood blocks or whatever you medium you had it on as a kid. Uh, it's because it's like this really simple game that you could just do at any time. Well, maybe when you were supposed to be giving your full attention to something else. Definitely, uh, the the right platform if you if it's on a, if it's on the phone. Um, there are cool a couple of really cool mechanics that I saw in here that I was if I want to rewatch it with the sound down. So it looks like you're racing against the clock here. And the, your, your goal is determined by um, the game. So you're like trying to match uh, match whatever it's indicating. And it looks like there are combos. And when you match two... Ah. Definitely seems like um, there are there's just a tons of colored blocks. I'm like really curious what they all do. You know, we got like a slow down block I saw happen and... There's like a speed up block. I think it increases the torrent of rain that you have. Maybe you have like a drainage block and then there's like the yellow and all the colors. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then there's one locked block that I, I'm guessing you can't move until you make a match. Very interesting. Oh, and you can level up. What's that all about? There's a pause button. Hmm. Oh man, I'd like to see a breakdown of what all the blocks do. Um, but it looks like the trailer is all the information I have for now. There's a press kit out, and there's people let's playing it. But, I mean, I'd see how much is on the app store. It is free! So, another free title for you guys. Um, let's see, Mega Man Composer. Oh, music by the Mega Man Composer. Manami Matsume, rain blocks combined sliding puzzles and other color matching gameplay for fun and frantic twists. Oh man, they got the Mega Man composer, James. That's incredible. The Mega Man composer. That's that's, that's really incredible. Yo, that's really cool. Um, so that looks like it was brought to us by Eric Koziel. Koziel. If I take a stab at it. Um, definitely looks like a pretty functional and well. Uh, sorry. Um well-polished mobile game. Um, I, I'm really curious about how the blocks interact with each other and like what system mechanics there are to like supplement the original. Because the original gameplay for like these these slide nine uh, grid games is you know conceptually simple, but it looks like there are tons of dangers to like accidentally matching ice and uh, like pairs that you want to avoid. So oh man, it looks pretty cool. So. Uh, Eric Co Cozil with Rainblocks. Thank you for your submission. Up next, we've got For the King. For... Whoa, oh, we got a trailer. We got... This video does not exist. Hmm. Okay. We will try to... Dun, 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 dun. So it is in French. The white website is in French, um, so we I imagine we have a European developer. And the video is not actually currently up. Maybe I can find it on YouTube itself. Here we go. So this is a solo gameplay by the developer it looks like this might be earlier footage than is currently available of the of a, maybe it might not be the current build but it is what we have at the moment and oh it's tower defense yes i was wondering when we'd finally get a tower defense because i you know love tower defense games it never seemed like there were any submitted but we got one got one Looks like there are a couple different towers currently available. You know, right here. Okay, we got the red towers. Which one of the splash damage? That's my question. Where's the freeze tower with the proc to stun? 
Um, I like the fact that there are two entrances, because a lot of these games are based around finding a bottleneck and just abusing it. And there's also two entrances to the uh, the death point, or the, uh, you know, the the castle gate, I guess you would say. Pew, pew. Oh, we got multiple enemy types. Nice. This score just keeps climbing. Now, there are a lot of really cool tower defense games out there. Oh, I guess the blue towers are the long-range ones. Sniper towers. Nice. Oh man, I, I gotta find I gotta find more information. Luckily, I, I can't. I, luckily, I can read a little bit of French. So, multiplayer gameplay. See. Je suis développeur depuis 13 ans maintenant. Uh, avec cette vidéo, je suis venu vous parler d'un. Uh, there's the game demo. Chacun sa petite parcelle et puis et puis bah, on est parti. Donc là vous voyez on est dans une salle de une sorte de lobby en, en attente. Donc les trois sont prêts là. Ils attendent après moi et puis bah, on va pouvoir y aller. Donc le principe ici on a trois tours qu'on peut qu'on peut poser. Et donc bah, le but hein, c'est de réussir à les poser. Fortunately I'm not quite fluent enough là, to translate the commentary, son, but this is like we have multiple players setting up their towers at once. I'm wondering if you have like build fields like that you're restricted to, like maybe player one can only build on the left C and the player two can only build on the upper end of the equal sign. That would be pretty interesting. You have to build like respective, you have to like pitch players towards their respective ends of the field and make sure that they concentrate on the right towers and so on. But there's also the question of how the income system works, so maybe you have to split it up. Either way, For the King, a uh, nice little tower defense game brought by Shivan Keldon. And, um. Oh, looks very cool. Oh, we have a talent tree system! Okay, I'm sold. Um. Talent tree system in, in a tower defense. Either way, really cool project. Um, definitely looking forward to see whatever they uh, bring out in the future. Thank you, guys, for, for the King. And looks like up next we have. I'm going to jump in, actually. Oh, I hey. think we're coming up to time. And for this segment of Indie Showcase, uh, we have our next panel coming up right now, which is going to be on... One moment, let me double check. Uh, coming up on... Da -da -da. I believe Let's Plays and Independent Games. We are... Uh, for those who haven't heard yet, we are moving that panel that panel from the Indie 4 channel to this one, the Indie 3 channel, and we're going to take just a moment to get set up for that, and then we will hand off to your, your uh, moderator for that. So we will be just a moment. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in.